and we begin with video you'll see only on two tonight. Investigators with the Texas Rangers and the District Attorney's Office going in and out of a high-profile home in Southeast Houston. It's the Harding Street home, where nearly six months ago, two homeowners were shot and killed in a flawed HPD drug raid. But the Texas Rangers spent several hours there today using some high-tech tools to scan the house. One particular focus, the potential trajectory of the bullets fired into and inside the house, and we know there were a lot of bullets fired. You might recall a private forensic investigator that was hired by the families extracted nearly 10 bullets back in May. Channel 2 investigator Mario Diaz was there that day, and he's back at the home today, in fact, all morning and all afternoon. Mario? Uh, that's right, Dominique and Bill. We spent nearly five hours here today with the Texas Rangers and investigators from the Harris County District Attorney's Office. They beat us to the punch. We know they were here for much longer than that. But what is interesting to point out, as you indicated just moments ago, this is the second time in approximately three months that you've had people out here investigating the trajectory of bullets that were fired inside of this botched raid. Only this time it was being done by law enforcement. Investigators from the Harris County District Attorney's Office and the Texas Rangers worked outside and inside of 7815 Harding Street today. The presence of Rangers comes nearly three months after they were initially offered access to the home by the families of Regina Nicholas and Dennis Tuttle. The Rangers turned down the first invite to look at the evidence collected by a private forensic investigator, Michael Maloney. Channel 2 Investigates was there in May chronicling Maloney's extensive efforts, and we were here today as the Rangers did their work. The Nickus family, particularly John, who I spoke to, was very, very encouraged that they were coming out to follow up on what's already been found. Mike Doyle is an attorney representing the family of Regina Nicholas. In May, the forensics expert he hired removed nearly 10 rounds from inside the home. The fact that he did such a good job, I think, is, is really helpful. The DA's office also had investigators at the home today, telling Channel 2 Investigates in a statement, Harris County District Attorney's Office investigators and Texas Rangers were at the Harding Street residence today as part of an ongoing effort to learn all we can about every aspect of the incident that unfolded there. We continue our work and have no further comment at this time. Do you think they would have been doing this today had it not been for what you and your team uncovered inside of that home in May? Um, I, th I think it was definitely, I know that the district attorney's office wanted to make sure that they reach out to us based on what Michael Maloney and his team found, and I think it's a good step that they did. Now, keep in mind that the investigation today is separate from the federal investigation that was launched back on February 20th, meaning that you just saw the Texas Rangers here today, the district attorney's office. There were no investigators from the FBI or the Department of Justice out here today. Uh, one other important note, come Sunday, it will be six months to the day since the botch raid took place behind me here at 7815 Harding Street. Reporting live in the southeast section of town. Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.